bit nervous <laughs> because it's normal, you know. So yeah, the, thanks to the coach and um, Steven up here and um, Oseko Four, they were around to talk to the guys who were new in the team. That hey guys, this is what we experienced in our first time in Afcon, and it's better you don't you don't have to be nervous. You just have to feel confident and do what you do. Same in your club side and everything. So yeah, I think um, um, for me it was like okay, um, what they have said, they have seen this before. So I think we just have to have our own confidence because if you are not having your confidence, the coach wouldn't have invited you here. So I think yeah, with this perspective, um, I was thinking positive, and then I think yeah, that was what I I went to the field to to deliver. So I think. Yeah, thanks to all these people who were supporting me for, with their advice and everything. You know. um, I'll say, I'll say no, but um, yeah, I think I, I keep on learning, you know. So um, I think um, I always say national team is not permanent, you know. So if I'm playing today, maybe tomorrow somebody will come and play. So. I want to say I'm, I'm, I'm the number one in the team, but yeah, I keep on working hard to, to play any time when I get the opportunity to come. So yeah, I think um, it's not a surprise because I'm doing very well with my club side also. So yeah, I think um, I'll keep on working hard and then yeah, if, if I get the opportunity to play, I'll give um, 100% for, for the nation. No, because um, personally, personally, it's, it's like um, um, coming to my first Afcon. As I said before, yeah, first game nervousness, and but I just have to take my confidence and start playing very good game. So um, coming to Afcon, I was having different mind. Like it's gonna be aggressive. It's gonna be you know um, African way of playing football. You know so. Um, I was trying because normally I don't play more aggressive. I, I try to play my normal game, but coming to Afcon was a little bit different. So yeah, I have to cope with how the the system of the coach and everything. So I, I I think yeah, I have to. That was the reason why I was a little bit aggressive, but learning from mistakes. I don't think this is going to happen again. He's a very good um, person and very good coach because, um, as we can see, he has introduced a lot of players, and all the players he introduced was very effective in the team. You know, so for example, me, um, Kobno Usu, um, Samuel Usu, who haven't even played a game for Ghana, he was just selected in the 29-man squad. Nobody know he will make it, but I think this, this, this. Um, with this um, help of the coach, he was able to make it in the 23 because for me, I think he's doing everything with, with passion for the nation and everything. So I think, yeah, we played with a lot of players with um, Emmanuel Boatin and co. He, he, he brought the guy because he has seen, um, seen a lot of quality in him. So I think, yeah, he's doing a very good job and I think, yeah, he deserves to be here. And, as we can see, even the way we play is, is getting better and better and better. So I think we are all human beings. We sometimes we make mistakes, but we keep on learning. So I think he has been fantastic for now. So I think the, the only thing we need is just the prayers from them and then the support. If we have the support from the nation, I think definitely we, we, can, we can make a very good um, tournament and hopefully to bring the cup to them. Um, I always say yeah, the team is getting better and better from first game till now because um, yeah, first game we draw against Benin, which was um, which was not what we were expecting, but it happens because we were man down, and after we have to even fight to get a draw. So I'll say yeah, we are getting better and better playing against Cameroon 0-0. We had the opportunity to win the game, but we couldn't, and I think winning against Guinea Bissau. Yeah, now the, the campaign and everything, I think the morale for the next game is very high and I think, yeah, um, we're getting better and better because we went to Dubai and we all know we went there to train very hard and um, coming back to here, I think we, we were a little bit loaded and now we, we're getting the rhythm and everything was perfect now. So I think, yeah, going to the, 
going to the next round of the competition, I think it's going to be very interesting to watch and interesting results will come out. Yeah, I think um, it's, for me, I would say the job we have chosen is, is a job that um, you have to be always ready for this, you know. So I think um, sometimes they do this because of passion. So yeah, the passion behind the game, um, they want to win, we want to win. And maybe you go there, it's not what you expected and then things change. So yeah, sometimes they get um, a little bit um, disappointing and yeah. For me, I take it as a um, as challenge for me because I think um, I'll say when you when you speak bad, that that give me the challenge for me to go the next one to do it better and better, you know. So sometimes they get um, um, annoyed because the passion and everything behind the game is sometimes giving them nervousness and everything. But I think, yeah, for me personally, I take it as positive way because, um, yeah, sometimes they as I said, they, they just want to have a victory and that what we can give them is victory. So I think um, sometimes we, we just have to take it in a positive way. And the only thing they can do is just to keep on supporting because without their support, we cannot make it. So they have to always encourage us. And I, because of their encouragement, maybe better things can come out of this than to insult the person. Because it's nobody who can, who can, who can, who can hold this, you know. Some people get I'm nervous and get discouraged from the messages they got. Some people also think it's a positive way for them to improve. So we have different kind of people. So I think um, it's better than to speak better than to speak bad about some people. So I think um, with this, I think we will, we would like to talk, uh, tell them that we want the positive um, answers from them so that we can we can get um, um, the energy to play for for them in the in the next games coming. <laughs> Um, I would say yeah, it's true because um, a team with a, a lot of youth and yeah, we have some four, three players who have played before, and I think um, the combination of all these um, players it have bring um, a lot of unity. We joke around, we sing, we we laugh. Even though when we are eating, sometimes they they just want us to be silent because we're talking like a lot, you know. Um, yeah, because uh, for me, I think, yeah, um, I haven't been in previous um, camps, but what I've seen now is, is fantastic. For me, it's, I'll say it's family. We, we have become family together because I, the way we, we, we joke around, the way we laugh, the way we, we share jokes, we can go to somebody's room playing game, you know, like it's, it's amazing. So if the coach said this, I think um, he has been there before, being assistant coach and everything, and he has seen so many players and I think if he say this then he have seen um, that the togetherness and the unity in the team is um, fantastic. So I think saying this I've also observed a lot of things. So I'll say yeah, I will say for for me this team have been have been the best for for me. That's the that's the major issue we've always talked about, you know, because um yeah um, been 37 years and for example I went to Young Boys it was 35 years no winning trophy I, I know this kind of feeling you know so um, from club side to national team I, I know this kind of feeling so it's like yeah I, for the people are hungry for a trophy and we always talk about this even though if you see two people sitting they're not talking about nothing but the trophy so yeah I think um, we are also ready and we are here to give everything um, for the nation and I think um, with their prayers and support, um, definitely, because the players we have in now, I think we deserve to, to win the trophy and nothing else to, to go to final and then um, get the trophy for the next. Um, for me, my favourite was Morocco, but unfortunately Benin beat them. So. What for, lessons can we take from that? Yeah, for, for, for me, it's, it's, it's a sign of um, going to every game to be well focused, to be well determined, um, determined. and then um, for me, I think we have to learn from this because you don't have to underrate any team. So for me, I think it's going to be, um, it's, it's for me a very big advice for each and everyone that um, 
when we are on the field, we just go and give everything we have. Every game has to be taken very serious. So I think, yeah, um, Morocco going out is, is a big um, um, challenge for all the, for, for especially Ghanaians um, to know that, um, yeah, we have to keep supporting us and then um, we have to always um, fight for each and every game. And for me, their prayer is very important um, because if you have the prayer from, from home, we, we're always strong and then I think the support is always amazing for us to learn a lot from what happened um, yesterday. <laughs>